welcome back to another awesome video. Yeah, today we're just doing a quick video about these outdoor lights from Costco. And they're LED lights and they just come automatically at dusk. And the idea is you install them and you just forget about them. But the problem is after about five years of operation, they start breaking down. And what happens is they'll just start flashing randomly. And so there are a lot of videos online that talk about this problem and how to fix it. It's really annoying. Well, what I'm going to do is tell you don't fix it. I go through the process here in just a second. But the fixtures that were came with the house lasted 37 years. These fixtures only lasted six years. I guess they just don't make them like they used to, huh? And you know, LED bulbs are touted as, you know, these great things. The LEDs may be fine, but the circuits around them are not. So in my opinion, it's just not a good deal to buy these LED bulbs. So let's look at these uh, fixtures, what you can do to fix them, and then what you can do to really fix them. So when these things start flashing, what goes bad is the power supply. That top one is a replacement I got on Amazon. It's a little bit bigger. It's the one there on the bottom in this picture. And it comes from a company called Meanwell. And there's lots of reviews saying, yes, this fixes the Costco light. If you search for Costco, it's like, here's the fix. What happened to me is one of my lights started flashing and I ordered it. And while the other one was being shipped, the second one started flashing too. So there were actually cheaper options available than the one I bought. But I wanted to make sure the specs were the same because I didn't want the lights to look different. And unfortunately, they ended up looking different. Well, here's the old power supply. Let's kind of tear into that. It's kind of glued in there. And it's not really meant to be worked on, but you get off all the glue and you can see you got just a bunch of surface mount components on the bottom. It's just, it's really over-engineered for a light bulb. I assume this is what's at the bottom of the socket of those LED bulbs you have inside your house, but this is in the fixture outside. And this circuit has nothing to do with it turning on at dusk. It's just to power the LEDs. Also, just, just to stop for a second and say, I'm not an electrician. Consider this video informational purposes only, not instructional. I am just an amateur here. Don't look you stop. Ah! No, well, that's not good. There's the LEDs in the bottom. Those are just tiny little things that just sort of light up in there. Probably no need to go through a step-by-step -step disassembly. You remove two screws and you can get that frosted part off and, and then all the guts of the device are in the top. And then there's a silver plate that's held in place with three screws. And at that point, you can access the uh, wires. Uh, I think if you're reasonably good at taking things apart, you should uh, have no problem with this. There were a lot of bugs in there because these things have been outside for, you know, six years. Interesting. Also, the power supply on one end uses the connector for the LEDs, but on the 120 volt side, it uses these wire nuts wrapped with electrical tape. So you got to take those off. Sort of the red end coming off the photocell that goes to the hot wire and the neutral white wire goes into the power supply. But there's the power supply. It's loose. And before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and just do the just do a basic cleaning on this just so I don't have to deal with all these dead bugs. Now on the new power supply, the wires are labeled ACN and ACL, which I'm assuming means AC neutral and AC line. So I connected the neutral wire to the white and the line wire to the red coming off the photocell and then just reattach that on the low voltage side. I actually had to cut the connector off the old power supply and just reattach that. But it was simply a matter of just rewiring it the way it was wired. LEDs require that the polarity be correct and you just got to pay attention, you know, make sure you connect the red to the positive. It is marked on the board and it, that's hard to mess up too and the LEDs wouldn't light at all if you got that backwards. And just for reference, it's about 10 minutes on the Fitbit timer to get to this process where it's disassembled, new power supply is in and, and wired together. Then it, we just have to reverse the process, reassembling everything. You know, probably I'd say this is about a 20 minute per light project. So then we rehung the fixture, flip the switch, and drum roll, please. Well, well, you can see there, it looks like not all the LEDs lit up. They sort of, part of that's the camera hey. adjusting, but they, they sort of fade it out. And look at them. They don't look the same. The one on the left is dimmer. It didn't really work out very well. So we decided let's do the real fix. Let's get rid of this LED and all the circuitry. And let's just put in some standard <laughs> sockets. These Harbor Breeze sockets were like, you know, $3 at, at Lowe's. Yeah, they were $3. And so what we're going to do, we're going to remove the LED off that silver plate and just mount the Harbor Breeze sockets in there. It's really easy. I have a couple of these little metal shafts, which are just kind of like standard lighting things. They sold them at Lowe's too. And I bought some uh, nuts to hold those in just so we can firmly mount that to the uh, metal plate. But so first we got rid of the old LED thing by unscrewing it and just cutting that wire. And then we used a drill bit to <laughs> enlarge the hole. Then the little uh, light shaft thing fits through there and you can run Perfectly. the wires. 
The shaft screws into the Harbor Breeze fan base around the wires and then you run the wires through the silver plate and just use a nut to tighten that down. And it, you need to make sure it's mounted firmly on the base so that when you screw and unscrew a light bulb, you know, it's going to be a, so a solid uh, connection. Oh, don't much yeah. cute yourself. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, so we put it all back together and it's really simple. We got rid of all that circuitry. It's just a wire. It works fine. We just had some decorative bulbs we put in there. That's what it looks like during the day, and uh, we'll show what it looks like in, at night here in just a second. They're very bright. They're so bright, the security camera doesn't go into night vision mode anymore. Of course, we can change the brightness because they're standard sockets now. We can put an LED bulb in there. We can put a standard bulb. We can put whatever we want in there. We can put, put the brightest bulb in the world. Well, let's, <laughs> not, let's not do that. The sockets were rated 60 watt max, and after they were on a couple of hours, I put my hand on the plastic thing, and it was cool. So it's not, you know, there's no heat problem there. Let's compare this brightness to how it was with the original bulbs before I did the first repair. So I found some old security camera footage from 2019. Of a cat resting on our thing. Yeah, we got these cats that come on the porch. But you can see there, it's in the middle of the night. You know, they're bright, but they're not as bright as with the new bulbs. Those new bulbs are really bright. And I know these are just little decorative bulbs we had in the in the drawer. So I can probably uh, find some other bulbs. But they the frosted glass really hides the bulb, so it looks fine. You can't really tell there's a socket in there. <laughs> So what's the end result? The end result of this project is that we were able to replace the LED integrated circuit with just a socket that you could screw an LED bulb into a lot cheaper. After all this, I decided just to hook up the power supplies to the LEDs on the workbench. And it was interesting. I think I might've had an LED problem as well. Only half of them lit up. You can see here, that's the flashing problem, but anyway. The aliens are taking over. No, that's just a, yeah, anyway, the, the LEDs may have had a problem as well. They may be bad too, but the power supply definitely, the old ones definitely had a problem. Anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time for another awesome video.